Sherry is saying that her doctor who specializes in gut motility says a prokinetic won't help if motility slowdown is present only in the colon. Um, the, the doctor says, wait, the doctor says prokinetics won't work in the colon. Right. Okay, so we, we totally went over that. Um, there are many prokinetics that affect the whole GI tract, including the large intestine. Uh, Percalipride, we know Iberogast, LDN. Uh, Percalipride has been studied for chronic constipation. It's about the dose, remember. So there it has to be two to four milligrams. When we're using it in a diarrhea patient, a SIBO diarrhea patient, we use it a half milligram and it doesn't, then it doesn't worsen. Uh, the diarrhea. So, so the doctor, um, I think the doctor, I'm pleased that they know that it doesn't, that it has, prokinetics have more effect on the upper GI. That's great that they know that, but I think the doc just doesn't know some prokinetics actually do affect the larger intestine. Also remember, um, low-dose erythromycin, it was debated. It's debated in the literature whether it affects the large intestine or not. There are studies showing it does and can, um, Clinically, not every doc thinks it does. So, so that should answer that. It, it, so pro, there are prokinetics that absolutely can affect the large intestine, depending on your dose. The question, does drinking black coffee or tea between meals have a negative impact on the migrating motor complex? So um, according to Dr. Pimentel, no. He says black tea and coffee is okay. He said the trouble is when you get into any kind of calories. So adding sweetener or cream or milk. He did also tell us, um, I think Siobhan in the Q&A you did with him in the spring, he told us that stevia is not okay because a lot of artificial sweeteners that, you know, non-caloric sweeteners, they bind to a receptor um, in the gut that makes the body think calories have come. So, um, so it's calories that turn off the migrating motor complex. So black tea and coffee should be okay.